Well, cheers to this amazing little, you know, drinking situation. Drinking situation? <laughs> <laughs> On a Monday, the second day of the year. Well, listen, I don't even know what day and it I is just, anymore. <laughs> I just said I was going to go out, and here I am. And here you are, again. out. Cheers. Cheers to us. <laughs> cheers to us. <laughs> The beginning of this year was like great for me, but the, the end of this year is like, I feel like I'm in a transition aspect of my life. Okay. And I'm like refocusing my energy on other things. Like, um, you know, just kind of rebranding myself in a way. Yes, thank you. Enjoy. That looks good, thank you, brother. Rebranding myself, I'm, I'm working right now on like, creating a brand for myself like representing like my like what I wanted to just put out like in the world as far as like why do I contribute to the world you know yeah I feel that and so you know I'm I'm, I'm rebranding right now you know I'm working on that what about you what are you working on so I told you about like my desire to move to LA so I went out there and I got to stay at the house that I want to get for like a week. The lady let me stay out there. Oh yeah, how was that? I loved it. It was great. It was really dope. We worked the entire week. Um, I was in the studio every day. So we like we made, I think, in total like nine nine songs over the course of the week that I was there. A nine lot. Songs? A lot. Mm -hmm. It was a lot. So right now, me and management is just kind of like trying to pick through the ones that we made and figure out which one is like the the single, you know. So I'll be sending you a SoundCloud link. And I need you to tell me your top three. My top three. Your top three songs. If you don't mind. Are you gonna have a listening party? Um, I think that can be arranged. We, were, we, we talked about it, but like we're also trying to like, it's the beginning of the year, you know, like budgets are not even out yet. Like, I don't know if I want to waste all money that I could be used on marketing when like throw a listening party, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I can invite 50 people to a listening party for X amount of dollars, or I could use that for, you know, Spotify placements, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't know, it's kind of like, I'm not at a point yet where the budget allows for me to do everything that I want, so I kind of have to like pick and choose. Right. But it, I mean, it's, it's floated across a little bit. I mean, I think the music is good enough to have a listening party. Whether or not we will, I don't know. If I do, it'll most likely happen when I get to LA. So when are you like planning to actually like reside there, for real? <laughs> well, it was supposed to happen in August, but it's been hard to find a house, really, like really tough. But especially because of my, like, I have dogs and all that. Big but, dogs. Yeah, big dogs. Um, so maybe March. March. The house that I stayed in, she's got some actress in there from January fourth until March first, and then she said I could have it after that. But then she started acting funny. So. What do you mean? I don't know. She. It's, it's, it's by the owner, so it's not like we're dealing with a realtor. She let me stay there, everything was fine. Made sure that I left the house clean as a whistle, you know, showed her like, hey, this is how, when I live here, this is how I'm gonna take care of your house, right? Everything was good. And then she, like, she was asking me all these questions. <laughs> she hits me with a text message that says, can you send me a picture of your pilot's license? And like, what? of my pilot's license. Okay. And my response was, am I expected to fly the house? Like, I've never had anyone ask me for my yeah. pilot's license before that wasn't like a job. Like she didn't believe a you job. or something. Right, exactly. So then she sends me the screenshot. She's like doing her, the background check or whatever. So she sends me the screenshot of whatever she's looking at. And it says, no driver's license on file, no pilot's license on file, no vehicle registration on file. You know, like I have all three. So I was like, that's interesting. What site is this? And she sent me the link. So I go and look up myself on this site to see like 
what is she looking at? Like, what does she see? Right. And the first thing the disclaimer says is, do not use this for tenant screening. Oh. Like, the, like you know how you have to like click yes, I agree. To, like it says it right there. Like, do not use this for stalking. Do not use this for tenant screening. So basically, the website is like acknowledging that they have an inaccurate information on their site. And I guess she like just Googled, because again, she's this is her first time, I, I'm presuming doing this. She Googled how to do a background check and like clicked on the first sponsored ad. And they, they're showing her all this inaccurate information. So I did, I sent her a picture of my pilot's she? license. <laughs> she's like. It's, it's kind of sad, because she's actually a pretty famous actress. Like she's oh, really? A, yeah, she's, well, I don't know if she's still considered famous, but she was popping in the 90s on Power Rangers. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so she had obviously used the site and believed whatever was on the site. Like, there was something that said uh, criminal charge from July of 2017. Well, I went and looked it up. And I used to have, like, a, a pretty fast car back when I lived in North Carolina. And once I got a speeding ticket, I was going to the airport. I was trying to catch my flight. I got a speeding ticket for doing 87 and a 45. In North Carolina, reckless driving is considered a criminal charge, right? Oh my god! So like, I mean, yeah, but like, come on, it's like a, it's like it's, it's speeding. It's not like I did anything, but on the website, it just it doesn't say it doesn't classify. It says criminal oh, okay, charge, yeah, yeah. unclassified. So you look at that and you're like, oh my god, you know what I'm saying? Like this she's, guy's yeah, a, she's basically like. She, but she wasn't that? supposed to be using that website for that. And I called her out on it. I was like, look, um, this website says you're not supposed to use this for what you're using it for. What did she say? What did she respond to that? She hit me back with, this is like over Christmas. I'll get back to you in a few days. It's family time, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay. Then she hits me back and goes, well, I think you were you're great. We'd love to have you again, but I think we're just going to keep doing short-term rentals. I said, okay. You went from, I want you to have the house, come stay here, to... I want you to, we're just going to do short-term rentals. Because you can't deny me based on what you saw on this fake-ass site, because you know I can sue you. So my next question was, let me ask you this, do you plan on keeping the house up on Zillow? And she goes, yes, because people are still going to reach out to us. I said, oh, so you plan on baiting and switching them? Telling them that it's available for a year and then tell them like, oh, no, you can only stay for a couple months? Obviously, it's all bullshit. So basically, when you went over there for that week, did you have to pay to stay there? Of course, yeah. Which was fine. It was still cheaper than I would have paid to stay in a, I mean, I had 1,800 square foot, a pool, a jacuzzi, and views of the valley. Like, that would have cost me, like, a lot more than I paid. So I got a good deal. I'm not upset about that. What I am upset about is I was honest in my, like, communication with her. And I could have spent that week, had I known that this was all going to happen, I could have spent that houses. entire week looking for houses instead of imagining myself in this house, which is what I did. Yeah. You know, I allowed myself to get somewhat emotionally attached to the place and like I'm walking around the house I'm like oh my couch will go here the dogs can go here you know what I'm saying like she had she had I told her about the dogs she knew about the dogs all that so like you know there was a, a transparency that was nice and I really liked her and for her to flip on me like that was like I don't know I, I told her I said it's extremely disappointing yeah because you feel, you feel like you're wasting time uh, you know what it is I feel like I didn't fit the mold for what she wanted in her Hollywood Hills home. You know what's so interesting, Lola? She had me like, you know how everybody has you do references, right? Anytime you move into a place to ask for references. I've been living on my own since 17. I've never had anyone actually call my references. She asked me to put my mother down. And can you believe she called my mom? She called your mom? Yeah. I've been living on my own since 17. I've never had a landlord call my mother to see if I'm a good boy. Oh my God. So I wonder if I was an old, older white gentleman if she still would have insisted that I call my mom. You know what I'm saying? She called one of my references and like, again, I've sent her bank statements, everything. And she's concerned. And he called me, he told me, she's like, she's concerned as to whether or not you can afford it. Now, like, the, the checking account that I showed her had enough to cover the entire lease for the year. That's if I didn't make another dollar this whole year. There's enough in there to, I could pay for the whole shit. So why are you concerned? You know what I'm saying? Like, Why are you digging up information anyways? Like, I don't fit the mold for your Hollywood Hills house. Yes, yeah, the idea that she has in her head. Right, of who, who should be in that house. 
and that's been that's been like a lot of the struggles. Like here, finding a house, even with my dogs, has never been tough. Never, it's never been hard for me to find a house. And like, no, never. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I get the, you know what I'm saying? Like it's never, never a problem. But over there, like I said, I've been looking since like July, August. And it's cause these, I'm, I don't fit the mold, I guess. If you're black and successful, you need to be either doing sports or entertaining. If you're not doing that and I can't Google you, you're probably doing some some gank some some other shit. You're scamming. This is this is just my experience. I don't know if it's true. She might be a sweet lady. Oh my god, that sounds insane. There was a baby at the rave, which I I'm still. They brought their child. They brought their infant human to oh. a rave. That's interesting. Yeah, not not my my parenting style, but. Yeah, like that sounds like uh, Child Protective Services should get involved. Yeah. Uh, also, I was like, I didn't see it, but like my fiance did, who's also bartending. And. No, no, he saw it. I was busy waiting for guests. And I didn't see it. He was like, there's a baby here. And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? There's a baby here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, does it have ear protection? Because like, rapes are famously loud. Very loud. Also, oh, it didn't have the air quality in a rave. Not the best, yeah. Thank you, my yeah. man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Like, the cost of living is so high that people are quick to get together, move in together, realize that they don't like each other, and then, like, try to find a way in which they can stay together so that they can afford their apartment while still doing their own thing. You know, that's how the open relationship, I think, comes up. I've, I've ran into it many times. Have you not? I've never had to experience that. No? God bless Yet. you. <laughs> because I know that, I've like, like, for me, like, if I'm going to live with a guy, I'm sorry, but you have to pay the rent. Like, okay, facts. That's just like, I, I, I just cannot live with a guy and I, we go, unless like we're getting married and like we're, buying a home like that's different okay but like if you're just paying rent you're paying the rent you're paying the rent yeah but that means he can kick you out at any time you know that right i'd rather do that than than just i don't know like for me uh, mm -mm. no he can't kick me out you can't kick, kick me out right, like that you just can't in the it's like it's part of the law in new york you State. gave him all the power though oh you mean like squatters rights yeah so you can be a squatter in his house <laughs> no. I'll squat no. until I can. I'm just <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's why I have my own apartment because I just can't that's... go through that. And that's why you should continue to be like that. Like I think that it's. But no, great. yeah, obviously have my name on the on the lease. Of course, yeah. But no. you pay the rent. But oh. <laughs> you know what I mean, like because everything okay, else comes with it. Like you know. Yeah. You're getting taken care of. Facts. You know, you're not doing the laundry. Do you feel like it's a man's job to like take care of a woman like that? I think in some ways you have to take care of like your home. Okay. You're you're a man. You have to take care of your home. Right. 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 And your home is your your girlfriend or your apartment. Right. Where are you gonna live? Who? You know, like Me? you know, I'm saying like if if a man doesn't have his own apartment. Right. Right. That means like he's not able to take care of a woman. Of course, he can't take care of himself. Right. Right. I agree with that. So, I don't know. I just feel like if you have, if you're a guy in a relationship, when you decide to move in together, the guy should definitely pay the rent. Yeah. That's just how I feel. The guy pays the, all the rent. What about the utilities? Who pays the well, water that, bill? That, no, that can be negotiated. About, negotiated. <laughs> You know, I just feel like, you know, I could give in, obviously. I could pay for some stuff, but like, the rent, I just feel like you should take care of your home. Okay. Where you come home to sleep, yeah. you're comfortable, you know? I just think that that's, I don't know, that's, that's, you should provide. A man should always provide. Okay. Because a man wants to be praised like a man, like, right. you know, validated. And so, as women, we want to validate you, but we want to feel secure. Okay. And security is having a home. That's that's understandable. So I just feel like that's why I mentioned. I think that's respectable and understandable. You know, like, I don't think that would be a problem for me. I've been paying my own rent since 
I've lived on my own, right. you know, so, but when I was in a relationship, it was a half-half situation, it was, but it made me, I don't know, like, I don't know, I think, hmm. I don't know, I think that would have to be just a, just a discussion that would have to be had, like, because I, it depends, are we moving into a new place together? Because if you're moving into my house, then of course, yeah, sure, I've been paying the rent there, I'm used to it, but like, if say we doubling the shit, like we going from 6K to 12K now, you know, what's up? Like, <laughs> pay the gas the bill or like, something. <laughs> one of the things that in a relationship that is hard to talk about is financial stability. Like, you know, like, you need is to it be hard or uncomfortable? It's uncomfortable for yeah, sure. Uncomfortable. You know, especially when one makes more money than the other. Like, you know, yeah. they feel like you have, they have more power than you in a way because they're taking care of things, which is kind of true. But that's the thing, that's why I say like, I, like. But it's, it's a give and take of power. Right. Because just as much as you have power in that, that, like, that aspect, you know, a woman also has a lot of power in how she carries herself, how oh, she you got the most interacts. Power. You got the most power. But that's why I say like, wouldn't you rather be involved in a situation where someone doesn't have that control over you? Like where it's like, but, like I'm paying my fair share to be here too. So you can't sit here and tell me I gotta be home by nine o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times with that umbrella of security, as you put it, comes like a controlling thing. Oh, who are you talking to? Who are you texting to? Oh, I'm paying your phone bill. I'm checking your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot that comes with that that leads down the road of controlling, I feel like. And so that's why I like, I, I prefer independence. now. I've made the mistake before of dating people that like instantly try to move in. I'm never doing that again. Like, you need to have your own house. I have my own house, and then a year or two we can talk about moving together, whatever, and then what that looks like. But like, as far as you coming into some space where it's him on the lease and he's paying all the bills, like you're I mean, putting already, yourself in a very vulnerable situation. I already, I already went through that where. You know, I was in a relationship that was controlling like that. Yeah. And I learned that, you know, obviously I don't want that. But, you know, I feel like you need to give a little bit of, you need to give the man a little bit of control just so that he can feel, like, empowered. Because that's how men, that's what men want. They want to feel like, you know, like, like macho? alpha. They want to feel like the alpha. That's you know? interesting. That's like, that's a masculine trait in men. Well, maybe I lack that trait. I've, every man likes that trait. Because <laughs> I don't, you know? I've been the control, like I've it's been the... Like the feeling of providing okay. for someone, that makes, that makes a man feel good, don't you think? Because it's like we're, us women, when we, when we nurture, you okay. know, yeah. that makes us feel good. Like when we cook and you enjoy the food, they're like, you know, like that's... You know a nigga likes to eat. <laughs> So yeah, I feel I mean, that. I can respect it. I like that. Sometimes idea. giving up the control is so hard. Yeah. But it's rewarding in a sense, like because when the relationship gets strength, it, it, it just strength, 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 strength. Oh, I can't fucking say it. <laughs> strengthens. You want another espresso martini? Um, <laughs> stre strengthens. 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 My accent is coming out. <laughs> That Caribbean, the Caribbean yeah. man, I don't know, was that a good Caribbean accent? No. <laughs> I'm going to the Bahamas in seven days, so link up with me the week after that. And really? Then, yeah. Wow, where are you going exactly? Nassau. And are then, you going to go swim the pigs? Yes. There's a plan that might involve a boat. And if we can get the boat, then yeah, we're going to go swim with the pigs. But I'm kind of concerned about swimming with the pigs because pigs are kind of gross. So I think I'll like look at the pigs from the 50 foot yacht and then just be like, hi pigs. I, know, I like pigs. I like to eat them. You do? Pigs. You do? You like pork? <laughs> <laughs> you like well, in my country, it's like, it's a tradition to eat pork. Like, to eat pork? Yeah. We eat, a lot of, we eat a, lot, a lot of pork. Did you have your black eyed peas yet? A what? That's like a thing. For New Year's, you're supposed to eat black eyed peas. Maybe it's a black thing, like a like an African, like an African American black thing. Probably. And then, what did you want to drink? The Santa Fe. What? <laughs> Santa Fe. <laughs> Santa Fe. Santa's red eye. 
Santa. Red eye. Red eye. Oh shit. Because Santa. I don't know why I keep saying Santa. You know what, Santa? I need to see your pilot's license. Yeah, when you take me, when you when you fly me on a jet. Am I gonna take you flying? I don't know yet. We gonna see. We gonna see. You wanna go flying? Yeah. Would you be scared? Really? You're the first person I've ever had that <laughs> said they wouldn't be scared of me flying the plane. Why? I guess you, have you don't your know license, me that well. Right? <laughs> you have your license, right? You want to see it? <laughs> I want to see it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. No, but listen, if you could get a plane, to, if they give you a plane and you can, they're like, here, sir, here goes the plane, you can drive it. That's not how that works. <laughs> Here, sir. But I mean, my multi-million dollar plane. Exactly, but nobody would do that if you didn't have a license. Right. But by the way, here's my license. Oh, and I believe I, you. I told her, I was like, it does. it's not a photo ID. Like, it's just, look, it's got Orville and Wilbur. Two white men in the back. <laughs> They're the ones who created the airplane. And it's got my weight and my height, which I don't want you to look at. And it's got my full name, and it says, like, my rating, which is a multi-engine commercial. But she needed to see it. She didn't believe me. The bar got really busy. What part of Brooklyn are we in? We're in like Bushwick, I think. What was the food? Uh, Oh, can I get uh, two set? You ready for me or no? You ready for me? Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Oh, we're gonna get something different. If that's okay. Um, if it's okay, can we get two Santa's Santa red eye? Santa's red eye? We actually we swapped her back to the key lime. Because Christmas is over. Okay. Christmas is dead. Christmas is dead. Christmas was pretty dead this year for me, too, honestly. What's that? By the way, excuse me. Sorry. What's that you're drinking? It's just a mezcal and celery Oh, thank you. Nope. Excuse me, my brother. So, confession time. I've never been drunk on camera before. Never? With a camera pointed at me the whole time? No. <laughs> I have never actually, yeah, recorded me eating either. So, it's, it's kind of different. It's going to be interesting. Yeah. We're going to be watching ourselves like, ooh, ooh. No, but, I'm super um, critical of myself. I'm usually like, when I'm like, I have a camera in front of me, I'm usually like, you in snap. my, yeah, I'm, I'm in my mode, like. I've seen it. But like, it just feels different now, like. Why? I don't know, like. It's lights, camera, action, baby, it's what's like, up? Because <laughs> usually I'm not the one talking, I'm just like posing and like, you know? Oh. Or seeing, or talking about the brand that I'm working for or something. Well, it's about time that the world sees all that intelligence actually, behind the beauty. Actually, by the way, um, I just got booked for a commercial. Really? And it's for the I heard. You got it! So, fittings on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> That's I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I, so I have an idea of who it is for. Well, you don't know yet? I, it, oh well, I do know, but it's not like in written, like they didn't say, oh, this is the person that's, that you're working for, you know? Okay, okay. I'm only gonna meet the celebrity until I get to the, um, the shooting day, right? That's kind of a big fucking deal. Yeah. And she says she's not a professional model. I'm not, I mean, I'm not signed to like a, an agency, you know, but like I'm an independent contractor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been contracted for the biggest like gig of them all. Well, it's not like That's a, such a big deal. Or like, that's not something to like, like that's a big deal. Well, I don't feel like that you're until that it happens. Girl. When I'm there, probably then I'll, it'll feel real Probably to when you're there. Yeah. When I'm there, then I... It's just so weird because like when you're actually like 
do it like you're hoping for something to happen and it happens like it kind of feels surreal that you don't believe it yeah you mentioned it when we were on our first little thing and I then it happens it. and you're like oh shit I knew you was I knew it was gonna happen who could tell you no yeah so I, I um, I'm do I, I guess I'm gonna be like serving face and um, only three people got picked. You said what? Only three people got picked out of 90. Out of 90? Did you have to audition or what was the process like? Yeah, I had to audition. Oh, okay. Yeah. You had to like read a script or? No, or it's just like, I just, like it's just right? like movements on the camera. They ask me questions on like my fashion. Like how do I get ready and like what kind of like, what inspires me? I'm so proud. I'm so happy. I can't even hide it. Like I'm trying to be like laid back. I can't even hide that. Yo, what? What? What's up? Well, but the thing is, can I get right? two of the V? Well, the the V Umbro. That one. The comments. Yeah. I'm so happy for you, I'm so proud of you. Wait, but don't wait, I was gonna say, I don't know if I'm gonna make the final cut though. Stop. So You're gonna make the final cut. It's a possibility that I will. You're gonna be. Well, let's hope that I have See, the you final need, cut. See, you need niggas me. like me around you because I'm gonna tell you that you're gonna be in that shit and that's okay. just the beginning of that shit. Okay. Lola, like, are you? No, serious? I mean, I mean, like, what? I don't, I, I, I don't ever want to like put myself where like. Wow. Like, I, I get excited and then I get disappointed. Yeah. So what? It's not I a don't disappointment. Like that. Don't allow yourself to get disappointed. Get excited because you got to do an opportunity. That's a natural emotion, though. I guess. Yeah, but that's the thing. Is like, but look at how far you've come. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, I worked hard for that, you know, but. And no one can ever take that from you. So that what is there to be disappointed? Because so many of these other girls out here will never even have the opportunity that you've had. Like you're, you're like you're already there. So what? If whether it works or it doesn't work, everything happens for a reason, and it'll catapult you to your next thing. I believe that. I believe that. So if it doesn't happen for whatever reason, it's because something greater is waiting for you on the other side. Right. That's why I was saying like I'm like in a transition like of rebranding myself, like knowing what I really want out of life. Like, I mean, this time in my life where I'm just like, I, I don't know if I want to keep going the route I've always been going or do something different, like completely different. Yeah. You know? And like, I think like focusing on my brand, like, like a clothing brand, which, which is what I want ultimately, is what I will do because like, I'm just tired of like pushing to get something out there and it's just not like falling into place. Well, it will never fall into place. And with that, let me get our champagne. Thank you. Cheers. Lola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna gas you up. What's up? Drink, cause we cheers. Mm. Wow, they're fast. Thank you. I, I, I'm still shocked to be honest. Shocked? Why? Don't you know you're a star, baby? Don't you know you're? A Okay, you're exaggerating. <laughs> Star studded, what's up? You're the one that's like making music videos and all. Yeah, but that. that's the thing is like, but that's why I can like, just like you, I'm in a transition. I'm going from being an entrepreneur in the corporate world to like chasing after my like way out there dream music. You and me, can't you see? Life with you. It feels like ecstasy You're a beam of light Soaring across my sky I swear you caught my eye Came at the perfect time You're beautiful And yeah, I believe I'm gonna make it Cause if I don't believe it, who's gonna believe in me? You have to be the same way You're 
Like yeah. that's your next. That's your nickname. No, nah. I don't like that name. You don't like that name? Okay, but you said. Let's just stick with Lola. <laughs> Lola is my brand. Okay, well, we love the brand. Get ready, the camera's always gonna be fastened on you. I see it. I've been seeing it. I saw it the first time I met you. I was like, who's that? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I was like, who is that? <laughs> Niggas was like, focus, John, focus. I was like, I am, I'm focused. <laughs> I do have that effect, I can't lie. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I do. I think it's because I'm tall. No, it's all of it. No, it's because I'm tall. I like, if I was like 5'2", maybe. Maybe you wouldn't notice me as much. You know what? I don't know. That if I'm because I could tell you from experience of, like, my friend, I have a friend that she's really short. And she tells me, like, she wished it was my height all the time. And I'm like, girl, I wish I was your height. So I won't be so noticeable, you know? No, no. Because sometimes, you know, you just want to like, you don't always want the eyes on you. Okay. You know, sometimes you just want to. Be normal. Not normal, but like, because I'm normal. It's just that. No, you're not. You're my, a star. It's, Okay. There's nothing normal about you. There's nothing that's <laughs> normal about you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no basic zone. No basic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you'd rather be you. Trust me. Yeah, I just can't help it. Like, even if I try to be, like, normal, like, I just can't. Yeah. Like, it's I just mean, not in my nature because I'm Caribbean and, like, you know, out there we're so, like, outspoken. We're so, like, loud and, like, I mean, I told you about like what made me like, like I was like, yo, I fucks with this girl. I told you when we was at the after party and that thing happened and you stood up for me. That was like, I've never had anyone do that. I am always the one that's like the bad guy, I guess, because I speak up when I see bad things happening, especially to me, like I, I don't let that shit slide. So like when you had my back, I was like, who's that again? <laughs> Well, you know, because, you know, I, in that moment, I just felt how, like, hurt you felt and, like, disrespected, like, but, like, more so, like, you were also teaching someone how to respect you and treat you. How to not catch a charge or a punch in the face. <laughs> so, you know, some people would just, like, not even say a word just because it's normal. That's sad. That's really sad. Yeah, sexual harassment is... Not the vibe. Not the vibe. And it doesn't matter who it comes from. So, um, yeah. What are your plans for this year? For this year? Yeah. Oh, God. Um, I want to keep following my dreams. No, I want to keep chasing my dreams so that we don't have to follow them. That part. I want to... Keep an open mind when it comes to like how I will continue to grow my business. I want to take this opportunity to be in the West Coast to also expand my other businesses to the West Coast. So I'm not focusing just on the entertainment aspect. I want to grow my aviation business out on the West Coast because there's a lot of opportunity out there. Like Silicon Valley money is way different than Manhattan money. Like it's, you got like 20 year olds making like 400 milli. Like, and they're, they're quick to, <laughs> they're quick. So I wanna like expand my other business out there as well. Ideally, if I had it my way, I will, I will figure out how to do this. I wanna have a place in both. I really do, I wanna keep my, I, have, I love my place in Jersey City. Like I really, I really love it. I can see the whole I think thing. it's just hard in itself. Like when you live in New York or like close to New York. Don't wanna leave. You don't want to leave because it's like, I, for me pers personally, like coming from a small island to New York, like I could go back to my island and be happy for like a week or two. Vacation. And, and then I miss home because the resources. Right. Like everything is like, you have everything in New York. You can find anything in New York. You at can, any time. At any time. 
there's different cultures. There's yeah. so many different things to do in New York. That's what I, I really love that about New York. You walk yeah. down the street. And you don't and even you, have a, to have a car. Oh, no, no, of course not. That's the greatest part of it. It's rare to have a car. Well, I have a car. Me too. But like most people, <laughs> <laughs> most people don't though. Like most right. New Yorkers don't have a car. I just like, I just can't, you know, when I work, when I used to work in a city, I used to take the subway. But honestly, I do not like the subway system. I just can't stand it. Yeah. In four years of living here, I took it once, one stop. I just can't stand <laughs> it. Like, I like the luxury of like hopping into my car, <laughs> playing my music mad loud. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, you know? Whipping the shit. Whipping the shit. <laughs> you know? Trust me. It's always a vibe I get when it. you're like driving down the. Um, the West Side Highway in the daytime with the sun beaming, mm -hmm. the music playing. There's no other place like you know, this place. Like a little joint on the side. <laughs> <laughs> don't say we smoke it dry. <laughs> I don't want no DUIs. Don't catch me. <laughs> catch me outside. I'll catch me that. outside. <laughs> but, no, I feel you though. Well, cheers to this amazing little you know, drinking situation. Drinking situation? <laughs> <laughs> On a Monday, the second day of the year. Well, listen, I don't even know what day it I is just, anymore. <laughs> I just said I was going to go out, and here I am, here drinking again. Cheers. cheers to us. <laughs> cheers to us. Amen. Amen. It's been fun, though. I like it. This is kind of vibey. I think every time I ask us to hang out, we're going to just I bring I am definitely camera going home to sleep after this. We're going straight to sleep? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, I don't know. What time is it? Oh no, I don't think I don't think sleepy time. You yeah, you gonna go out? I'm all the way out in Brooklyn. Let's go. Where are you gonna go? I think I wanna go get some cookies from Soho House. <laughs> some cookies, cookies and vanilla you ice cream. You really like sweets at this time. Yeah, I know that's bad. That's really bad. Oh well. Yolo. Especially after alcohol. It's the alcohol that makes me wanna eat. Really? Of course. You don't get the munchies, the drunk. The you get munchies keys? from drinking? Drunch keys? Yeah. Hell yeah, that's a thing. That's absolutely a thing. Isn't it a thing? Like, I've never a, heard that before. Bro. The drunch okay. keys are absolutely a thing. Drunk skis? Drunch keys. Drunch keys. That's why Empanada Mama and Cafeteria exist. No, I like the Empanada Mama Viagra. The, what's your favorite Empanada Mama Empanada? I like, from Empanada Mama, I like the, um, the Viagra. Ding, 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 ding. Empanada. Yeah, Love yeah. That. That's my favorite. What are your goals for this year? Um, definitely moving into a new place. One of my goals. Um, my first goal, actually. And then working on my brand. Um, and then just work, like just rebuilding my myself because you know I, I I'm coming out of something. I don't really want to talk know. about it too much. But yeah, I'm I I'm redust I'm discovering myself again. I love that. You know, so that's what I'm doing. This year is about focusing on me and you know starting a new life. I did want to I did want to move out of New York. To like where? earlier last year, I wanted to move out of New York, but then I, I decided to just stay here and then just deal with the issues at hand and then just rebuild myself. Like, what makes me happy and like what, like my, right now I'm also analyzing my, my circle as friends, like my circle of friends, like, because like I have been friends with the same people for a long time, but like, I wanna build new friendships. I think that's also one of the things that this year I wanna meet new people and put myself out there and you know, just put myself in a situation that makes me uncomfortable. That's one of my goals. I love that. Yeah. I do that for myself a lot. Yeah, it's hard. I know, but it's like a challenge. And then when you do it, and you're like, like today, wow, I can, I can be, huh? This challenge, this, today, this right here was a little challenging I know. for me. It was. I know. You know, because I'm not used to public speaking. Like, it's just like not my thing. Like, but look, I'm like it. more of a like an image girl. But you killed it. Yeah, See I have how to she get does. comfortable with opening myself up to the world. But that's the thing is that this is, it's still just me and you. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
My but eye not. contact has always been you, but yeah, but it's not. Th but that's but it but it is. But it's not. But it is. But it's not. But it is. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> but it still is. And we but we still had just as frank and honest a conversation as we did on the first time. And like that's what I appreciate. Like every time I get with you, it's always like uplifting and it's like how can we how can I lift you up? How can you lift me like what can we do to help make each other better? You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm walking away from this feeling better than I did walking in here. Of course. And I was nervous too. Trust and me, the like, drinks did help. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Hope you Because they were really good. Bit. Them drinks are fire. They was, they was popping. Every drink that I had was it was delicious, but it didn't clash with any of the other drinks that I had. Right. Like the champagne. I've built a character to where I used to be judged all the time that like if I get judged, like I just don't like it. So I just don't put myself out there like that. Yeah. Well, but now you. I'm learning to just like not give a fuck. Yeah, exactly. You That's know? what it's about. Because I'm the type of guy that don't give a fuck. I can tell. And you're gonna have <laughs> you're gonna have people that are gonna hate you. But they hate you because they ain't you. Ooh, I know that's right. Keep that in mind. Like, I got a lot of haters. Way more at the beginning of this year than I did last year before I knew anybody in this scene that we're in. It's a good thing. Right. Because they really hate me because they don't have a chance. Ooh. And <laughs> I'm a butterfly. Yeah.